Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about another interesting topic. How to create green carpet algae. So about a year ago, I released a video to talk about the two different types of algae in your goldfish tank, which is green water plus green carpet algae. I talk about the result, I talk about the maintenance, but I haven't talked about how to create the green carpet algae. I got a lot of feedbacks on, hey Lei, could you please create an educational video on how to create green carpet algae? And uh, I was so busy, I kind of indulged myself into the goldfish culture and goldfish history side, so I released a lot of videos. I, I didn't have time to pick up the green carpet algae until recently. I post on my Goldfish channel community, I post a survey, I said, hey, please vote the following topics, how to create green carpet algae is on top. I hear you, and uh, now I'm generating my answer to you. And here's another thing, that's why you subscribe my channel, and you have your chance to vote the future topic. All the links are also included in the video description, please make sure you're gonna check it. Because this video is actually more on operation side. There's a lot of links about the product, about the website, about the tips. Let's go ahead. So before we talk about how to create the green carpet algae, my style is always let's step back. Let's look at what are those common algae styles in your goldfish tank. To be honest with you, there is about 13 to 20 different type of algae in your goldfish tank, whether you see or not see. I'm not gonna go through all of this uh, algae type. I'm gonna talk about probably uh, four common algae styles in your tank. So the first one is very obvious, it's called a clear water. People call it air tank because uh, it just feels the goldfish swimming in the air if the water quality is, is so pure. There's no or less algae. It's, it's really gorgeous. And uh, what I call this beginner's dream tank. Why get into the goldfish keeping? I want my goldfish tank looks like a pure water, um, very clean, crystal clear. Just like this goldfish tank, it's just, it's just beautiful. Especially uh, during the night, you turn off the ambient light and only keep the tank light, it's so beautiful. The water may or may not fully cycled. Just keep in mind because there's no indicator, let's see from the color or from the smell. Just, um, you could fully or um, not fully cycled water. On the other hand, this is may, may not be optimal for your fish tank. Let's wait to listen about the other options and you can make uh, your choices. The second one is brown algae. The color is brown. It's also called uh, diatoms or silica algae. It basically um, appears in newly set up tank within one or three weeks your tank gonna go from the crystal clear to this brown coating colored everywhere. Obviously, it is no harm to your goldfish, but it looks dirty. Uh, so many folks do not prefer brown algae style tank. But I wanna share some interesting fact. Uh, brown algae generates about 20 to 50% of oxygen on the earth. It also created about half of organic material in the ocean. So brown algae is actually contribute a lot without you knowing it. The third one, what I call a green water. Green water is not a particular name of algae, it's just a style. A lot of tiny free floating single cell and just circling around the water. The water is purely green. It's typically uh, used in goldfish farms. As you can see on this video, which I cropped from documentary, is that's a goldfish farms. It's actually stabilized water quality and the green water has a lot of nutrients. If you look at my channel, uh, when I breeding goldfish fries, I intentionally keep them in the green water to keep the color and keep the water quality and also help to keep the fish grow fast. Obviously, it's not good for indoor fish tank. I guess you have the same feeling as mine. If you look at this picture, you basically, you don't see any, any fish. It's, every, it's green everywhere. So green water fit for the good fish farms, but not uh, fit for your indoor fish tank. Because if you have it, you're not gonna see your fish. 
So the last one is actually today's superstar. Uh, the number four style, I call it green carpet algae. That's just a nickname. So more formal name, also known as hair algae. Just like showed on this picture, you can almost see a grassland type of carpet algae on the bottom of your tank. It's so beautiful. It is best for indoor tank, particularly for the bare bottom. Um, obviously, you're not gonna have sandy bottom. If the bare bottom, um, the green carpet algae is gonna fit perfectly. All the fish is so happy, so vibrant, very colorful, and you can see the algae actually not only gives a better view, but also provide a lot of nutrition to these fish. It's uh, also stabilize the water quality and also provide the clear view. So green carpet algae plus clear water give the best option, in my opinion, to your indoor fish tank. This is the kind of deal when you see green carpet algae, if, I, if you don't see it, you're fine. You're like, uh, I want to have a clear water tank. But if you see it, you want it. All right. So if you do want to create your own green carpet algae, please come with me. We're going to go through every single steps, uh, actually from the theory procedure. And also I'll share you one of the results. Uh, please listen carefully, make sure you understand everything, and then you don't have to ask me another question in the future because you understand everything. All of this kind of knowledge, or the tips, you're not gonna see on any textbook. At least I don't find any of those knowledge from the goldfish keeping textbook. I actually collect it through my personal experience, my friend's experience, and also some limited knowledge from online resources. So make sure you don't skip any of these. Is gonna be extremely helpful and you're gonna make your dream come true to create your own green cup algae. All right, let's go with me. I like to talk about a theory. I wanna talk about a theory and then you can talk about an operation. Uh, the first thing, let's talk about what is the condition to create the brown algae. It's typically those four conditions, low light, silicate, ammonium, and nitrate. So if you look at a green water, what's the conditions uh, for creating green water? The ammonium, nitride, uh, also carbon dioxide, and uh, a phosphate. So let's see what is the theory of the algae transition. So if you want to transition from brown algae to green water, you definitely you need to switch your low light to strong light. Natural sunlight is the best resource. If you don't have a natural sunlight, you need LED. Not just normal LED, you need a full spectrum LED. The last one is you have to remove uh, silicate. Many of my friends ask me, hey, I fight so hard a brown algae, I'm not able to convert from a brown algae to green water. And one of the reasons is because you didn't remove silicate. Please make sure you do a water test to your tap water. In many areas in US, uh, some areas tends to have more percentage of silicate in the tap water. So make sure you test it, then remove it. Okay, so that's the green water condition. Last one, let's look at what is the condition can generate green carpet algae. It obviously has condition of strong light and some of those components. So what about the transition from the green water to green carpet? Um, the first one, you also need to maintain the strong light and remove silicate. In terms of ammonium and the nitrate, uh, you need to use a strong filtration or increase your biofiltration to reduce ammonium and nitrate. For the last two, carbon dioxide and uh, phosphate, you also need to reduce those two. So how to reduce those two components? Aeration, add air stones uh, into the water, blow bubbles, uh, also reduce number of fish. Many times those, obviously the high carbon dioxide, you have too many fish in your tank. And also do more frequent water change. Okay, let's check this picture again. So this is what I call it is a theory of algae management. If you know this picture, you can control whatever the algae you want to keep in your tank. And the other thing is it shows the transition. So the green carpet algae will not appear immediately in your newly set up tank. It's going to go through this procedure. You're going to first have a sort of brown algae at the beginning and then brown algae by certain condition that you applied, the brown algae is gonna become a green water. And then from green water, you apply certain condition, you're gonna get a green carpet algae. Green water is the key. If you don't have green water, you're not gonna have green carpet algae. Let me explain this 
if you only have strong light, no silicate, very low level uh, ammonium nitrate, or very low level carbon dioxide or phosphate, you're still not able to create a green carbon algae. Why? You are missing the seeds, the seeds of algae or the algae seed. So all the algae seed came from the green water. The green water has a lot of seeds, and then you just kill the uh, some of the seed that you don't like as a green water, and you're gonna leave uh, the algae seed as green carpet algae. Remember, write down this sentence: green water is the key transition component to green carpet algae. If you're not able to generate green water, no green carpet algae gonna come up. All right, uh, I know this is a little bit chemical stuff. Now let's go to the next page, which is the more practical in terms of the daily operation. So what do we need? Let's give a summary. And you probably can already get your list from those algae management theory. So first, you need more than eight hours of strong sunlight. Uh, however, if your tank is not facing the south of your house, or if you have a problem getting the sunlight, you can always using the full spectrum of LED light. Check the links in my video description. I'm gonna list a few Amazon link with the product that I'm using in my tank that produce a good result. The second one is aeration or filtration. So aeration, you need to get air bubbles. The why we need air, um, aeration because you need to reduce the CO2 level. Uh, the filtration, you also need a powerful filtration is to reduce your nitrite and also reduce the ammonium level. The sum filter is the best. If you don't have some filter um, on the top of the uh, trickle box filter is also a good option. Uh, the third one is UV sterilite. There are many of UV sterilites. You can go any of the brand. Uh, a lot of my friends gonna ask me, hey, is a UV sterilite gonna kill my healthy uh, bacteria? Is UV light gonna kill the, um, the algae, the green carpet algae? The answer is no, because the UV light is encapsulated within the chamber of the black housing. So the water basically gonna came through the back of the inlet and it do those come through the UV sterilizer and come out of the, the UV sterilite. So the UV sterilite is not gonna contaminating outside the water, it's only gonna sterilize the water came through uh, the chamber. So this is a very good option. The last one is, is fish waste. I'm not gonna ask you to collect the fish waste dump into the tank. Simply you can do is put some fish. So if you have fancy goldfish, do not use your fancy goldfish as an experimental uh, material, but you get some common fish or some cheap goldfish put in your tank. Okay, the other thing is your ex expectation. This is not one-time deal. You're probably gonna need some iterations. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna fail. You're probably gonna fail more than once, but eventually you'll make it if you follow my instruction. Uh, be prepared, iteration. Obviously, the last one is patience. It takes time. It's not like if I if you follow my setup next day, your tank gonna become green carpet algae. It's it's anywhere from one week to one month. But eventually you will get it. Now you understand the theory of algae management. You understand what you need to create a green carpet algae. Let's 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 look at this. Um, uh, I hope this uh, flowchart will not blow up your mind. Uh, as an engineer, I want to put everything on paper with a flow chart so it's going to crystal clean to you and also you can follow those charts if there's a problem. I'm going to go through this with you. Uh, bear with me, deep breath. This is not something you cannot understand. It's very simple. The key component is green water. You need to have green water and then everything become possible. So obviously the first question is, hey, do you have a green water? If you have green water, jump to the next step. If you do not have green water, we need to create the green water. Uh, for newly tanks, just follow me. You need to add a fish, you need to add, add some light. Normally within one week or two weeks, you're gonna see some brown algae. The good news is very easy to remove. You can just use your hand to uh, scrub it off. Remove most of the brown algae, not all of them. Maybe leave a 10% brown algae still on the tank. Why? Because you wanna keep some uh, algae seeds. You don't wanna remove all the uh, uh, algaes. If you see brown algae, it it's also means your light intensity is not enough. You're gonna increase your light. Remember, you need a four spectrum LED light. Okay, if you increase, I'm increasing. You can use two, 
full spectrum LED light, or you can use longer time. Rather than eight hours, you can use nine hour or ten hour. I'll also do a fifty percent water change right away. So with that, uh, typically after uh, uh, about another um, a week, uh, most of the brown algae should change back to the green water. If you either you get some green water from your pond or you already generate the ground water, and that is the possible step. Now everything is possible. Okay, so from green water. If you see, when I see green water, you see your tank become a pure green, a very thick green. At this time, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a 90% water change. Also keep your strong light, eight plus hour strong light, and also put some air stones, get some air bubbles to your tank. At this moment, I don't know, maybe your brown algae is so stubborn, it's, if your brown algae come back, go to here. As I said, very simple, just a, remove or scrap off your brown algae and increase light and do 50% water change and just remove the brown algae. Normally it sh should go back to the green water. Okay, so if no brown algae, is it is it green water becomes thicker? If it's still a thick green water everywhere, we're gonna do another trick. Remember, this trick gonna work, water change, and then you turn on the UV starlight and also remove fish. If you have four fish, reduced by half. Typically, this is a very effective step to changing the green water to green carpet algae. At this moment, you probably already get a green carpet algae. So some of the friends may not need to UV sterilite by using those water changes, you may reach from green water to green carpet. And some green water algae is so stubborn, you may need to put on UV sterilize on. But eventually, bingo, da, that's the uh, green carpet algae. This big box is daily or weekly maintenance. Again, keep the strong lights, keep the strong filtration and aeration, and also do a weekly water change. Turn on your UV lights only if the green water has come back. UV light sterilizer is a killer to the green water. But use it at, at, as a minimum basis. So the last step, just to go back to my channel and please comment to my Goldfish channel on YouTube saying, hey, Lei, uh, your tips works. I get my green carpet algae. Let me know and also more importantly, let the community, let my friends on YouTube know your success. So the next step, I can give you one example is, this is my friends in China, this is his tank. Only take him from one week to get a beautiful green carpet algae grow, but he has a precondition because he already have some green um, carpet algae seeds in his tank. He may have a different starting point. You may starting your tank from a newly set up tank. And this example already have some green carpet algae grow on the bottom. It's just not as, as beautiful as expected. The second case is you can also check my case. And we're gonna go show actually on here from green water to green carpet. The trick is just uh, using the UV sterilizers. Okay, let's watch this video.
All right. So what do you think? You feel it's too complicated? Something so beautiful and you want to make it? Let me know your feedback, okay? And also, if you like this video, please give me a big like. Please sub my channel and feedback me what topic you want to hear. I also want to thank you everyone because I read a, a statics fact on YouTube is typically is in it, every 100 view I'm gonna give you one like. But if I look, my like percentage is always way beyond one out of 100 likes. So thank you very much for all my friends that give me the positive feedback and the big like. I'll see you next time.